The use of volunteers in social care has been posed as a potential solution to austerity measures. However, our research has shown that effective volunteer programmes require significant investment of both time and money. I think that the cuts in social care have a direct effect on services that is either putting a load of pressure or just closing down services. And then when you get service that's under stress and under pressure, it's not a good place for a volunteer to be if everybody's rushing around, you know. This big thing about if we could replace people with volunteers, I think that's an insane idea. It's irresponsible. There is a contract that we ask managers to sign about what we will do that often doesn't work out. For example, they say they will provide a carer to be part of an exercise class run by a volunteer, and often that may not happen. We don't have a volunteer organiser post. Funding is all very difficult. That is why we don't take an influx of volunteers, because we don't think we can manage. You have to be compliant with health and safety to give them the proper training, because you've got to motivate them. The Irvix study summarises what a lot of us worry about in the sector. Even if you can get volunteers, the benefits to both them and care providers can be undermined if the overall care environment is under financial strain.